the time to get outside. Now the heat's going to uh, be dialed back a notch out there, so we'll be able to, to hang out outside uh, longer into the morning. Nine in the morning, it's 87. Noontime, uh, 95, so certainly hot. Uh, the sunburn can still happen in about 25 minutes by the middle of the day, uh, but that's uh, slightly more tolerable than the last few days. We're dry here on Desert Doppler. It's interesting watching this little uh, sort of boundary. The winds have shifted around uh, to the north in a northern on the northern side of the valley, but uh, no big deal. The wind is fairly quiet under about 10 miles per hour. Jump into the afternoon with me. A couple of mountain showers or storms could get going as early as noon uh, up toward Kyle Canyon, Lee Canyon roads up in the sheep range on the north side of town. And there's a chance that a few of these showers, possibly a stray thunder shower, could slide into the valley, most likely after uh, 2 p.m. So during the afternoon, we'll keep our eyes on the small threat of a quick passing shower. Can't rule out a lightning uh, strike out there this afternoon if that happens. And also, and the modeling is picking up on this, uh, if we do see some showers emerge from the mountains, there might be some brief sort of gusty wind uh, with those. So we'll keep our eyes on it. It's a small chance, but things could be a little damp this afternoon. That's going to keep our high temperature around 99 degrees. You know, after three straight days uh, above 100, I think 99 will be a decent change of pace. 102 on Saturday, kind of a quiet Father's Day weekend. Toasty for sure. 101 on Sunday, a little breezy Sunday afternoon. And then Marissa, next week we heat back up by the middle of the week. We're back around 105. You know you're from Las Vegas when you're like, yay, it's 99 degrees. <laughs> Thank you so much, Justin.